SAP HANA Cloud represents a re-architecture of HANA, designed from the ground up for cloud-native architectures. It's been rebuilt in a way that offers a much more elastic and lower cost of ownership uh, by leveraging cloud capabilities. It still has the core high processing performance that you've come to expect in HANA, as well as the ability to, to process data from many different sources and types, a, a multi-model uh, approach to data. But we combine that now with the ability to create hybrid uh, data models. They combine data that is stored in HANA, as well as uh, cold storage, and even the ability to bridge over to uh, and extend on-premise HANA installations uh, with adding additional capabilities without having to create hardware on-premise, but leveraging the, the cloud. So SAP HANA has many use cases. Uh, first of all, and probably the one that most people are familiar with, is it's the underlying persistency for many of SAP's own applications. For instance, S4 HANA, the flagship ERP product of SAP, runs entirely on SAP HANA as its core database. And it doesn't just run on that database, but it's optimized for that database. But of course, there are other scenarios. HANA can also be used as a native data warehouse, or as the persistency under other data warehousing products. It can be used as a central data lake to consolidate data from many different sources and allow you to report on it in one place. It can also be used for application extensions, whether that's, once again, S4 or one of the other SAP applications. Uh, SAP HANA offers you a programming model and, and persistency to be able to easily extend those applications uh, in a way that is very non-disruptive to the core application, uh, but still gives you a uh, the power of uh, processing that you get uh, naturally with HANA. SAP HANA has several advantages for developers. One of the first advantages is its ability to process many different data types and different data sources. So instead of needing different programming languages and models for working with, say, unstructured data, geospatial data, and all the different types of, of uh, data that can be processed by HANA, we can combine all that data together and use a single programming interface, namely SQL, to access all that data together. HANA can also give you access to data without having to physically all move it into a central HANA instance. We can combine uh, HANA's ability to, to both replicate data, access data remotely, and have different stages of storage from hot to warm to cold uh, to create a data lake. Yet, even though that data is stored in different technical ways, uh, different cost patterns, uh, we still see the same programming model to access all of that data. So we give developers and their businesses access to many different options and flexibility for cost models, speed of access, but without having to change the, the programming model and the way that you write your applications. HANA also has other advantages in the fact that we have deep integration with our application server environment, both in the on-premise delivery and in our cloud options where we are uh, where, where we allow access via uh, Cloud Foundry based uh, service brokering. HANA is also incredibly open in its interfaces. We of course have ODBC and JDBC based interfaces, but we also have HANA client drivers from many different programming environments, uh, such as Node.js, Python, uh, Google Go. Uh, so Basically, to leverage HANA, you can bring your, your existing data and logic that you have in the HANA database to wherever your applications are without having to relearn a whole new development environment. Well, for developers, one of the best ways to get started is HANA Express. HANA Express is a completely free version of SAP HANA designed for developers and admins who want to do some self-learning. But in fact, it's a small, lightweight version of HANA that can even be used in productive applications 
uh, as long as you are uh, using less than 32 gigs of memory. Now, Hana Express is offered in a couple of different ways. You can get a binary installation that you can download and install on, on your own Linux machine. It's also offered as a VM image that, that you can run. So even if you don't have a Linux machine, it, you can run it in a VM player on just about any operating system. We also offer HANA Express uh, in the cloud. So you can uh, run it on your own cloud provider account. Of course, at that point, you have to pay the cost to the cloud provider for the hardware hosting, but all the software licensing for HANA Ex Express uh, is, is still free. Now, soon we will also have a trial version of the HANA Cloud available as well. Uh, and you can go to the website and sign up for that, uh, for that to be notified when that free trial is available. 